Hello, guys, and welcome back to the Figure Forecast podcast. It is your host, Maeve, and my lovely co-host, Scarlett. We are finally doing a show review on season two. We are super excited to do this. It is the first proper one of the season, and we are reviewing none other than the Europa Pro that was on um, at the weekend in Spain. Spain. That is a show run by Emilio Martinez. And from what I hear, it is honestly one of the best shows going in Europe. So it's definitely one we wanted to take a look at and review properly for you guys. There was actually two pro cards given out in each um, division, which is really cool. It was first and second. It wasn't just the, the first place winner. So that was pretty cool. We're going to go through the two pro card winners and we will go through the top um Top call outs, first call outs for figure. Um, go through the the top girls. There's probably some familiar faces there, and there's definitely some new faces that both of us were not too familiar with. So it's always cool seeing some new athletes, especially at that level. Um, so yeah, let's let's, let's get going. In. Let's dig in. So um, let's start off with the girls that won their pro card, and these two are actually very different in terms of physique in my opinion so in first yeah. place we have oh god i'm so sorry to whatever your name is magui <laughs> i'm going to say magui Ma yeah so let's just go with maggie um stunning <laughs> stunning yeah. like jesus she's really? um, yeah she's fab like so full her delts are crazy shape is beautiful like look at the quads from the back like she's got she's got really big glutes as well she does she does she has really decent glutes there and calves like fuck fuck um her yeah. delts and her arms are insane i'd say the only thing is maybe bring out her lats from the front a little bit more they're there but i'd say maybe just to to really add I wonder, some weight like, i wonder if she's quite short she looks quite short she, she, she looks quite short doesn't she yeah defo um, and I think that just plays such a strength in figure in particular because you are, are stringy with lots of long muscle fibers like me. It is a fucking mission <laughs> trying to fill them bad boys out. But um, she is stunning. Like, and I actually really like the black bikini on her. Yeah. You know, I've you don't really see a lot of like black or white no. bikinis, like like the silver and stuff like, but I think it really pops with her. Yeah, I really like it. I think it definitely suits her. I think you just have to have a certain, I don't know, is it skin tone or look or something, but um, she really wears it very, very well. And then yeah. the girl who came second place, who also won her pro card, whose Instagram name I absolutely love, Fit Rasta Queen. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. Looks like a bikini as well, is a little bit. Uh... <laughs> yeah, a nod to green. Um, yeah, we love it. We love it. And you know what? I think she fits lovely into the amateur fi figure um, class in that the description they've kind of released recently of what they want in classes. Yeah, I think she, she actually fits really well. But there's a, there is a big difference between her and Maggie conditioning wise, like a massive difference. Yeah, I think as well, like shape wise, yeah. for, like in terms of like upper and lower yeah like balance and stuff I feel like she fits it better yeah both conditioning wise yeah. first place is obviously a lot more conditioned yeah. like she's she looks quite soft there but I mean again it could just be the the, the pictures and stuff because you know you do lose that quality yeah. when you take a video and stuff don't you yeah. really but I, I think but, that's a beautiful look like and it's it's like a pretty attainable one I would say which is actually really nice to see yeah it's um, not like overly overly yeah. like crazy but yeah very nice yeah very very nice so it'll be interesting now to see the two like because look at even the the core the difference now obviously yeah. the legs are nuts here like crazy, crazy. and veins on her um, shoulders so the conditioning here is kind of confusing when you go back to the description that they kind of put out recently you know I, yeah. I would say she's kind of bending forward those glutes are very lean um yeah, yeah so it's, it's just interesting to see two very different looks and um it, 
Yeah. It would have been good to see um, kind of who was in the other classes because obviously this is the top two, so it's the overall. It would yeah. have been good to see kind of who they were up against, like what other yeah. competitors were in the amateur, but we can't really see Nothing much about that. Like really, it. we have we have searched and searched. There's there's actually quite poor coverage of this online, um, which is really disappointing. But here we are. We're doing our best, right? We're doing our best. Um, but I think the two of them were were fab. But I again, I would just be really keen to see who even third place was, like what the difference was, because there's such a difference between first and second. I'd love yeah. to see what um like who they were stood next to in yeah. their own classes and stuff. Yeah, because it looks like obviously she's a lot taller than them. It does actually, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. it does. It does. Um, so let's let's pop on to our pro. Uh, we'll just run through the results first. So in first place, we have Gabriela Linhartova from Czech Republic. In second place, we have Paula Ranta from Finland. She is one of myself and Scarlett's fave um athletes, actually, and she looked phenomenal. Um at the She's like and queen of condition, like yeah, yeah she's stunning. So full, like so full, um, and so conditioned. And I'm really glad that she got a, a top place in here. Um, because sometimes it's it's a bit funny. Then who do we have? Arya Bahar from Germany. Anna, yeah, I like her. Yeah, Kroker from Ukraine. And then in fifth place, we have Nadine from Germany, and sixth place, Lauren from the UK. Um, so that's cool that someone from UK got it into the top six. Here is our pro lineup, guys. Ama not amazing photos, I have to say, the quality of them. So I'm really sorry for people um, who maybe are struggling to see this, but I'll turn the brightness up. Um, here is our gal Paula at the sides. Um, obviously, she was moved in. Here we have our winner, Gabriella. So let's, uh, let's pop into the back shot. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the the um oh here we go. This is a better one. Yeah. So we have one, two, and I'm on the sure. end there, three. Oh so here, three. Yeah. Um so these these were all moved around, but I am um, I actually find this super interesting. What do you think about the the top three? Yeah, I mean, I mean they're all fantastic, obviously. Um, but I would say like conditioning wise, legs for top place right. is yeah, nutty. Yeah, her her quads are just uh, like absolutely not. But yeah. it's always interesting, I think, and figure like because it's not necessarily the biggest people that are rewarded. Like, and I think kind of yeah. people need to remember that it's not all about size, um, which is, I suppose, good and bad. But I think Paula has, like, this was one of her best probably so far. Like, she looks yeah. unbelievable. Looks insane. But her, like, her, like, upper is just yeah. Yeah. so full and round and, like, tapers down lovely like she's got such a good figure balance yeah like I mean obviously this was one of her best showings I'd say yeah um I but if yeah I go to the back shot because oh no that's not the one no it is um it's just a bit of a, a, a bit of a, <laughs> a shitty back shot guys um but I think the this size difference in first and second is crazy because like Paula's top line is I would say like a lot stronger than Gabriella's but yeah. then her her legs are also bigger but Gabriella's are way more conditioned so it's just interesting to see I would love to see the the feedback they get like I would yeah. I would be really curious to see what the actual feedback is um yeah, because my eye maybe didn't go like straight away to saying, you know, oh, definitely first place. Like, so I'd be curious to know. But I think looking at her 
looking at her, oh, let me just go into the Pro Guard winner. Oh, does she have a video actually? Let's go into her video. Oh no, guys, why is that not here? Bear with me while, uh, you know, I just have a, a tech tired moment. So here we go, here is first place in the pro figure for anybody who has not seen it. Um, anybody listening on Spotify, this must be really enjoyable episode. <laughs> but make <laughs> sure you recommend can... watch yeah. this one. Yeah, I, I would be switching over to YouTube. So yeah, crazy fucking condition. And I don't know whether it's the her back holding. Is... Yeah, but yeah. back, back is so happened. thick. Mm. So thick, like that upper back is like dense as hell dense as fuck um maybe it is her posing because I, like when she does her her lat spread from the back it's very impressive but and like you can see her lats here but in the line of photos in the comparisons they were it's a little bit hidden so i did, mm. yeah and like the side pose really doesn't do anything um but obviously we are talking out of our ours because she got first place but yeah exactly <laughs> That's just what, what I'm, I'm <laughs> Not that I'm one to judge. Um, yeah, incredible upper back. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Your delts are popping. Popping. Yeah. She's just shredded, though. Like, really shredded. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. I want to see if he... No. Where is this? No. Back shot. Okay. So here we have back shot of first place. Yeah, see, see, she does. She poses differently as well, though, to the others. It's like the rest of them are like obviously up tall and leaning back, and she's quite forward. Like even in a like yeah. individual eye walk that like that we just shown there. Like, yeah. She kind of you know was forward. Yeah, it's actually a bit strange. I'm gonna try and move mm -hmm. on to a side. Yeah, it's actually very different. Um, and her side pose, her shoulders actually don't come around much at all. She doesn't twist her waist much. I think that's what yeah. the, the thing is. But um, it's just interesting because I think they definitely rewarded conditioning at this show. Um, yeah. Like e e in both, like in, um, in first place in amateur and in pro, I think they definitely went for the most condition her glutes um from the side are like shreddy yeah definitely crazy like look at that look at the quads from the side oh my days absolutely unbelievable unbelievable um here we go so here we have first second and third and we also have our fourth place in there as well um yeah, I think it's 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 going to be interesting to see how she does um in the Olympia and see how yeah. she's up with with them. It will be super interesting to see. Um, I'm just gonna back into her, into her. Poem. But she was she's went to Olympia last year. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Where well, where did she? Yeah. Where, do you remember where she placed last year? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it might have been like second call out, maybe or third. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because she's one of Cuba's clients, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I think yes. I actually think I saw her at the Arnolds in the UK. wasn't Wasn't she in that one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When we were there. Um. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'm. Um. I'm just going to double check. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go with third place. Oh, my God, I found one, guys. I found one. Here is our um, figure overall. So we have our um, class winners, obviously. This was our first class, first place winner in figure amateur. This was our second place figure. And they both won their pro cards. And here is our third place so yeah it was that's it funny was actually you know because I'm sure last I don't know if it was this this show or if it's another one earlier on in the year but I'm sure they get three pro cards so I'm wondering why 
she's not been awarded it as well. Oh, Unless there wasn't just wasn't enough. I, yeah, possibly, but it, I think there was only two um two pro cards being given out in, in anything. Oh, was, was there? there? Oh, was there? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was three in, in that one last year then that I saw. Yeah. Because the I... one that I went to watch it um, when Jade competed in bikini. Yes, yeah. They all, all, all the, the over, well, the top three all got pro cards in the amateur. Oh, interesting. Mm. Interesting. Oh, that's a savage show to do. Um, I know. That would be unbelievable. And I did see um Regan Grimes had on his Instagram, he obviously did bodybuilding um and won that, but he said that um it was his first time doing that Spanish show, the Europa Pro, and he said it was one of the best run shows that it was like a mini Olympia, like the atmosphere was absolutely incredible. So definitely one to um look into, guys, if you are um thinking of competing this time next year. Um it's meant to be an awesome show. And just looking at um first and second there, 6136. Oh, seven. I actually think if second place had lost a few more kilos, her yeah. she has the same kind of size as first place, but she just has a little bit more body fat on her on her legs there. Um, and I think she has really good width and size on her top line. I just think it was a conditioning thing for sure. Yeah, and or maybe her, like maybe the bit mu- like the more muscularity on the back. Yeah, as well. Sure. Yeah, at the back shot. Um, but third place, I would say, yeah, size. If she was bigger, like she's not, like her conditioning isn't bad. It's probably actually better than second on her lower half, definitely. Yeah. But she's just missing the size for sure. Yeah. Fab bikini though, really like that color. Is it like a purple? Yeah, it's like a purple that change. You know that that green purple like shimmer thing that just changes color. It's kind of like that. V- all very different um bikinis. No blondes. All dark hair and all long, long, long dark hair. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't find any. Um, I can't find any back shots of the. Oh wait, no. Oh my god, guys, I'm blind. Well, here we go. Here's a side shot. And yeah, she she yeah. third place actually has um a pretty nice side shot in terms of her legs and her waist and stuff. Um like her her waist looks really nice. And then her her conditioning is, is class. I think that's just a size issue. Um because her yeah. back is pretty conditioned, like versus number two, she obviously got it because she was bigger, but um it's yeah. just interesting to, to see them compared. That looks like an awesome show. Really good. Mm. Nice. I really, really like a second place as posing. I feel yeah. like she, she's definitely won it on the posing. Yeah. Presentation. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Don't underestimate it, guys. There we have the, the first and second together. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, she gets a tiara. That's a stunning tiara, isn't it? <laughs> and you get like you get like a little bling ring as well. A little. Oh yeah, the... <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like um, walk around with that on all day. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> I, I am pro. I am pro. Just call me pro. Um, kind of a a a, a quick show review but there just wasn't um a massive amount of footage online guys so we can just kind of review what what we found um but hopefully you enjoyed that and we will definitely be doing more um show reviews and now that scarlet is nearing the end of her um season <laughs> and that's, well, that's, that's that's, i still got three and a half weeks guys <laughs> almost there almost there almost there um but yeah you're gonna you're gonna do your own little season review as well right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through it. <laughs> it's actually, do you know what? I actually found it really good because I actually, you know, um, like I don't journal or anything or diary, but I feel like that was nearly like a dear diary afterwards, and you just kind yeah, of got yeah. all everything you were thinking, and it was really good. Um, but that is Definitely. that is the review. How are you feeling? Almost, almost done, and going into the the next one. What's the plans? Just condition, get it off, get the fat off. 
God, that, is, that is literally my only goal right now. Um, and obviously just a little bit less, less work on my legs. So basically my training is just basically just going to be upper, um, very minimal leg, no quad work, all hamstrings <laughs> until we, <laughs> until we get, until we get the stage. <laughs> oh, stop. Um, that's, that's kind of it, guys. Thank you for listening. Hopefully you had the sense to tune into this on YouTube. Um, yes. And yeah, let us know what uh, what shows you're looking forward to this season, kind of running up to the Olympia, um, who you have your eye Not on. Not long now. Not long. We're only a few weeks away and ugh, I'm fuming. It's on in Orlando and I'm going to be in Florida like a week after. <laughs> I'm sick. Of it. I know. I know. It'd be such a good experience. But that's it. Um, we will definitely be reviewing a few in the run up to the Olympia, and of course, we will be doing a giant, um, show review for the Olympia this year for sure. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We do appreciate all of the love and support you guys are giving us, um, and all of the shares on stories on socials, all of that jazz. So please do keep spreading the good word, um, and we will keep pumping out the episodes until next yeah. week. Yeah, we will chat to you soon. See you later.